In today's video, we're looking at stopping distance, which is the minimum distance required to stop a vehicle in an emergency. The first thing to know is that the total stopping distance is equal to the thinking distance plus the braking distance. And in this video, we're going to look at what each of these components are and what affects them. The thinking distance is how far the car travels during the driver's reaction time, which is the time between the driver seeing the hazard and actually applying the brakes. There are two main things that affect thinking distance, the speed of the vehicle and the reaction time itself, because the faster you're going and the longer the time before you brake, the further you'll travel. The reaction time will vary between different people, but in general, anything that decreases alertness, like being tired, drunk, on drugs, or just generally being distracted, will increase people's reaction time, and so increase the thinking distance. Braking distance, meanwhile, is the distance taken to stop under the braking force which just means once the brakes have been applied. Under normal conditions, the most important factors are the speed and mass of the vehicle, as both of these increase the vehicle's kinetic energy, which is going to have to be reduced down to zero in order for the vehicle to stop. Another factor is the condition and quality of the brakes, because if these are worn or faulty, they won't be able to apply as much pressure against the wheel meaning that they won't slow the car down as quickly, and it will end up traveling further before it stops. The other important factors relate to the traction between the car and the road. For example, if the road is wet or icy, then there'll be less friction between the tires and the road, which can cause the car to skid. Or if your tires are bold, which is when they don't have any tread left, then they can't grip the road as well. So the condition of your tires is also really important. So now that we know what affects the stopping distance, we need to take a closer look at the impact of speed. And for this, you need to be familiar with these sorts of diagrams, where we have three little green cars, each traveling to the right at a different speed. The purple section in each case is their thinking distance and the red section is their braking distance. So this diagram basically shows us how long it would take each of these cars to stop if they first spotted a hazard at this orange line. The important thing to notice is that while the thinking distance increases proportionally with speed, the braking distance increases more quickly than you'd expect. In fact, if you double the speed, the braking distance increases fourfold. And if you triple the speed, it increases ninefold. This is why if we plot a graph of total stopping distance against speed, it's not a straight line, but rather it gets steeper and steeper as the speed increases. So the take home message is basically, if you're traveling fast in a car, it's gonna take a lot longer to stop than you probably expect. If you haven't heard yet, you can find all of our videos on our website, cognito.org. You'll also find questions, flashcards, exam style questions, and past papers. And we track all of your progress so that you always know what to study next. So sign up for free by clicking here or browse our playlist here on YouTube.